Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. Let's talk about the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022 in Moscow, Idaho. Anyone that's been following the tragedy in Moscow, Idaho, four college students brutally stabbed in a home during those early morning hours and police have made no arrests, no suspects have been identified. So eight days ago, I was the first person on YouTube to post about an incident that happened outside the Sigma Chi fraternity in Moscow, Idaho, at a field, right? A field called the Band Field, an incident where Moscow police interacted with individuals or individual in regards to an alcohol-related incident at 3.01 a.m. I posted this video about it. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out, please. And Moscow police had interactions with someone or a group of people dealing with alcohol. Now, the stabbings that happened in Moscow was right a block away literally a block away within eyesight of that. And people were wondering at the time whether it's connected or not. Police came, came out recently and said it's not related. The authorities just released the body cam of that incident. The body cam footage from the officers, they apparently were interacting with three juvenile or three young men. I'm not going to say juvenile, but three younger people and they ultimately got a citations but i want to show you something about that body cam i want to show you about i want to show you something and then we're going to discuss so check this out So in that body cam footage, and I, I slowed it down, you could see flashlights in the distance, a flash lighting. I'm not sure if that was authorities. I, who was that? Because I say that is because around 3 to 4 a.m. is when these stabbings occurred a block away, less than a block away from there in a home, King Avenue. And, you know, whoever was with that flashlight, could that person be a potential witness or been around and seen something? Because it, it doesn't look like the that's authorities with the flashlight because they're using the body cam. So who is that out there? Who is that out there at a distance? You see the apartment complex. Y'all saw a white car. Um, What's going on with that? What's going on with that as police looked into that flashlight person? Don't know if it's a guy. Don't know if it's a girl. All you could see in that video that I slowed down was a flashlight. A flashlight that kept you know, blinking a few times. So who was out besides those three individuals with the alcohol related? Who was out there at 3 a.m.? And could they be a witness or could they be a person involved with this case. 
Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. What do you think? Leave a comment. I am covering this case. All angles, no stone left unturned. What happened in Moscow, Idaho during those more early morning hours? Police have made no arrests and the community's on edge. But somebody was out there at 3 a.m. besides the officers and the people they cited. Unless that was another officer at the distance. Now that's a possibility, but I'm not so sure. Let me know what you think. Everyone be safe. God bless.